Hey, Captchon has just released the new Captchon 23. It introduces an entirely new tool, smart adjustments, and brings several long-awaited new features, such as layers in styles and the ability to change capture time. Also, Captchon 23 makes image calling way faster and easier. Plus, the new version offers better performance and adds some nice updates to Captchon Live. I am Alex from alexandra.com and let's see how all the new features of Captchon 23 work in practice. But first, I have some exciting news for you. I have just released the ultimate Captchon toolkit and till November 11 you can get it with a 30% early bird discount. Ultimate Captchon toolkit is a brand new set of tools to make your Caption workflow faster and easier than ever. The toolkit contains 40 ready looks to find the right adjustments for your image in no time, color shift styles to change any object's color in just a few clicks, dynamic symmetry grids to evaluate your composition and arrange it according to the key elements of your shot, seven custom aspect ratios that cover popular social media and cinema looks, 50 style brushes to easily apply ready looks and color shift styles locally, plus many more new tools are to come with 12 free upgrades delivered to you monthly. Yes, you will receive an upgrade to the Ultimate Caption Toolkit free of charge every month. You can download 5 ready looks from the toolkit free of charge. Simply go to alexonroadcom toolkit and download your freestyles. Ok, now to the new features of Caption 23. Let's start with improved image calling. In Caption 23, the import workflow has been completely redesigned. First of all, you can now set ratings and color text right in the import window. Thus, you can browse photos with zero delay and call images the way you're used to. The Filters tool is now available in the import window, so you can quickly search for particular shots. Next, you can zoom in at 100% in the Import Viewer. Simply double-click on an image to zoom in and zoom out. Also, Caption 23 allows you to change capture time. Yes, you can now set a new capture time right in the Import window. If you need to modify the capture time of imported images, simply go to Image, Change Capture Time. But the major new feature of the calling workflow is the Group Overview tool. Capture One now auto-sorts your images into groups by similarity, so you can quickly decide on the best shot. To make calling even faster, you can use new shortcuts. Up and down arrow keys to switch between images and left and right arrow keys to navigate groups. Finally, if you need to call images that have already been imported into Caption 1, you can use the new Call mode. It has all the calling features of the import window, including zero delay browsing. Now to the next new feature, layers in styles. Yes, Caption 23 finally supports layers in styles. In the release version, the support is limited to field and empty layer masks only. You can't save layers with brushed masks, as well as heal, clone, luma range and gradient layers. But even with these restrictions, layers in styles open entirely new opportunities. For instance, you can now save key components of your editing as layers. Here I took the vibrant high contrast style from my new toolkit and restructured all the adjustments in three layers – color, exposure and details. Now you have full control over every key element of this editing. Do you need to reduce color grading impact? Simply drag the opacity slider of the color layer. Are you looking for a bit more aggressive contrast? 
easy. Currently, I'm working on layered version of all 40 ready looks from the Ultimate Capture on Toolkit, and if you buy the Toolkit now, you will get them free of charge as they get ready. Moreover, you can now easily use black and white styles in layers. Simply enable black and white on the background layer and apply layer adjustments to imitate the black and white tool. But how do you set such adjustments? You will find the answer in a free chapter from my book Capture on Hidden Features. Go to alexandra.com book to download four chapters free of charge. From these four chapters, you will also learn how to draw two gradients on a single layer, use mass conversion in editing, and set up must-have shortcuts. Now it's time to discuss another major new feature of Capturon 23 – Smart Adjustment. The new Smart Adjustments tool allows you to set a reference image and auto-adjust all your photos, making them consistent with the sample shot. The new tool modifies only two adjustments – white balance and exposure. And this is the reason why I was extremely skeptical at first. It reminded me of the normalized tool that I still haven't found a place for in my workflow. But even with these limitations, Caption developers have managed to build a really useful tool. Let's see how it works in practice. I will take a typical outdoor photo shoot. Some images here are overexposed, some are underexposed, and the white balance is mostly inconsistent. I can't just copy-paste adjustments because all the images were taken in somewhat distinct conditions. They require different adjustments to have a common and consistent look. And here we can test the new Smart Adjustments tool. First, we need to prepare a reference shot. Let's take a nice image and adjust exposure and white balance. Now we are going to set this photo as a reference. Ok, we are ready to auto-adjust all our images, select the shots and click Apply. Done! As you can see, smart adjustments worked pretty well to make images look similar. It's not an ideal result, but don't forget that it operates only with two tools. Now, what to do with all the other adjustments that you typically use, like HDR, color balance or curves? Well. As you made your images look consistent, you can continue editing them the way you're used to. Also, you can save your reference shot and any other adjustments as a style to speed up batch editing. For instance, let's add some contrast here, apply some HDR adjustments there and color grade the image with color balance. Next, we are going to save all these settings as a new style. Now we can use this style to make images look consistent and apply same adjustments and color grading. What I got from my experiments with the Smart Adjustments tool is that it's designed for images with easily visible faces. Thus, in the current version, it's not suitable for landscape or interior shots. Still, I expect that Capture developers will upgrade the Smart Adjustments tool in the near future, making it even more handy. My only issue with Smart Adjustments is the naming. I mean, Smart Adjustments in 2022 sounds… outdated? They should have named it like AI Adjustments. They would have had a cool name and would jump on the hype train, you know? Finally, Capture on 23 brings several minor but very useful improvements. Firstly, you can now sort variants of the same image into different albums. For example, you can sort all the black and white variants into one album and all the color graded variants into another. Secondly, Capture on Live now supports various access levels. 
For instance, some users can be restricted to viewing images only, and others can get permission to rate images and leave comments. Thirdly, Caption 23 has improved performance for working with Sony files and for systems with multiple GPUs. Thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel to get new Caption tutorials.